Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. Today we're making a ground beef stew, so if you have some ground beef and potatoes, this recipe's for you. You'll need three potatoes, two roasted poblano peppers, two cups of chicken broth, and one pound of ground beef. To your ground beef, you wanna add one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of oil, half a chopped onion, two minced garlic cloves, and combine all your ingredients. And once you're done combining your ingredients, you're gonna go ahead and let this set for about 10 minutes just so that all those seasonings and flavors can penetrate our beef right before we cook it. Place your burner on a medium heat and allow your pan to warm up for about a minute to a minute and a half. Next, you're gonna add your ground beef. And you want to start breaking down your ground beef. We don't want to keep this into a crumble. We want a few bigger pieces so that that way when everybody bites into the beef, they have a little bit of a bigger piece of beef to bite into. Once you break down your beef a little bit, you're going to continue to cook on that side for about three minutes. You do not want to touch or move anything. And you have my permission to start mixing after your three minutes have elapsed. <laughs> don't feel pressured just because I said that, you guys. <laughs> And when you mix it, you can break it down just a little bit more. You don't want to crumble this. You don't want to make this into chili. You want a few big bites of beef. And for those of you that have party eaters, you know what I'm talking about. They need that bite, you know? Now I know what you mean. Now you know what I mean? I did it before. <laughs> We're still on a medium high heat. Once you mix your loving ingredients, you're gonna add your potatoes your roasted poblano peppers, and if you don't have poblano peppers, guess what? You can use some canned chili. Make it comfortable for your loving home. Your chicken broth. Give that a gentle loving mix. Once you bring your pot to a boil, that should take you about four minutes. You're gonna place your temperature on a medium heat, and you're gonna continue to cook without a lid for 15 to 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, we have a beautiful beefy potato stew. And my tip to you is gonna be that, depending on where you live, it might be more humid, a little bit more dry, so you never know after 20 minutes how much of the stew you're gonna have left. So if it's too runny and you want it a little bit thicker, I would suggest to continue to cook for five to eight more minutes or until you achieve the stewiness that you love from your stews. I'll be serving today's stew with some whole pinto beans. I roasted some Anaheim peppers. I placed them in there. And if the theme today doesn't seem apparent to you guys, it's roasted peppers. I'll also be including our favorite oregano rice. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say uh. Thank you. And just like that, you have a super easy dinner any night of the week. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I will say this. When you see that your family is looking a little bit sad and down, that means that they need a little bit of comfort food. And stews will always bring them a lot of comfort. So let me know what your favorite stew is in the comments. I'd like to focus, but I can't because this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, when you get some of the combination of your oregano rice with your stew, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought. As always, Khan and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope you love today's stew. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.